Today I'm going to show you what's inside of a power sunroof and how it works. This particular sunroof has three different modes. It first tilts, then it tilts and it goes back underneath. And then in panoramic mode, it goes back even further. And boy does it open up a lot of space inside of this Subaru wagon. Now in order to find out how this thing works, I pretty much have to drop the headliner. And I've got the sunroof out, now i got to tape this hole up before it rains. So here I've got the sunroof removed from the vehicle, so let's take a close look at its main functions. The first time I click the button, you'll see that the front part here tilts upward. And when I click the button again, you'll see that the main panel lowers itself into the body and then slides backwards. Then when I click it again, it opens all the way. Now one thing with sunroofs is that they're not expected to be completely waterproof and rely on the seal here. In fact, there's this water channel that goes all the way around the sunroof and it's gonna lead up to these little tubes over here where it's gonna drain down the A and B pillar. Now this particular Subaru Outback, the motor's located at the back of the assembly here with an integrated computer. And you've got these cables here that are gonna run along the tracks to operate it. And of course, I've got it hooked up with a vice grip to my battery here for demonstration. More on that motor assembly later. Let's get to the glass. It's actually worth noting this tilt cannot be pushed down manually. You actually have to activate it from here so therefore it's locked in that position while you're driving. Also this does not allow the sunshade to close when the glass is open so you don't forget the glass is open and soak the interior. Alright so now that we've seen the operation I'm going to see if we can remove the glass. Let's first remove all of these trim pieces here. It's got a couple of 10 mils to remove. And we should be able to lift off the glass here. I'm going to remove the large glass now. The shade while I'm at it. Now with the glass out of the way it's a bit easier to see how this mechanism works. Essentially you've got this large bracket here where the glass will attach to and it pivots down underneath the sunroof drain over here. You've got a multi-link mechanism where one pivot point is over here and the other pivot point is over there. As I slowly close that you'll see how this one moves forward all the way and then in the home position here it completely flattens out. Look okay, at the top view here you've got the primary one with the glass you've got the secondary connection where you've got a pivot point here and over here and then we have this piece here which is connected to the drive system so as I slowly try to close it here you'll see that's going to translate and cause the secondary arm to sort of collapse and for the whole thing to become flush. Now in the closed position the top of the glass is flush with the top of the roof of the car. Now as you start to open this here you'll see that the back of the glass is going to tilt first so it can go underneath the roof skin of the car and then the front here has a pivot point which has a track on it which also kind of moves down here so the front of it also tilts down and this entire thing can retract into the roof of the car. Now in order to tilt the back of the glass down we've got a multi-bar mechanism where we've got the top bracket here with the glass got a main pivot point over here and then there's two bars underneath one going this way and the other one going this way and you'll see they're sort of collapsed like scissors as I bring them up and put them down here and that's what causes it to flatten down. Now the main bracket here has a little wheel that follows this channel inside of here and then at the front here it kind of raises itself up in order to raise it up. You see it's raising itself up there and now it becomes flush. Now all of that is controlled by this little white piece over here so you'll see as I advance back First thing that happens is a little pin pops up over here and it goes back a little bit more and then it attaches to this arm over here where it's going to push the entire assembly back all together. Alright so now that we've seen it work I'm going to see if I can take this thing apart so we can see a little closer. So over on this side we've got this cross brace that keeps both sides together. And then over here we've got this little hook that moves with everything and that's going to push the sunshade back with it. So you don't accidentally leave the sunshade closed while the sunroof itself is open. So here's what the sunroof motor looks like. Got about six wires that go into the computer. It's held on by a bunch of eight millimeter screws. A little bit of adhesive. And you can see this here is the gear. Now the sunroof motor has this output gear here and that's going to drive each of these spiral gears. Now there's one for each channel. So one gear driving both of them keeps them in sync with each other. But these are also going to turn in opposite directions from each other. Also remember that a spiral gear cannot drive a straight gear, but a straight gear can drive a spiral gear. And that's why you can't force your sunroof open or closed by just pushing it. Now where the copper pipe ends, I've removed this screw. Now I'm also going to remove this one here, which is the cross brace. Now these are no longer going to be in sync. I can pull this copper pipe out of here. Right, I'm going to pull this tube out of here. Pull it out of here. It's like a pipe cleaner kind of thing. Now let's pull the other side out here. So to get the sunroof mechanism out any further, I gotta take out these rivets. Tried drilling them with the old Harbor Freight, but that kind of failed me. So I'm gonna have to use the grinder. All right, so now that I got that cross brace out of here, let's see if I can remove the sunroof slider mechanism. Okay, and that piece, and that's for the shade. Right now I'm gonna remove it from this side here. 
Oh yeah, this is why we're filming inside today. There's a thunderstorm in February. To free up the tilt mechanism, I'm gonna remove some more rivets. There's a lot of adhesive here, so I just opted to cut it off. All right, so now that we've got this all cut apart, let's first take a look at the tilt mechanism. Now, if you remember, we have this little white hook here, which is directly driven by the sunroof motor for the cable. Now that was going to hook up to this little lock over here. Now this lock is not allowed to press down, nor is it allowed to press forward to adjust the tilt. Until you go inside of there, you'll see a little spring. That spring has to be pressed first forward, and then you can unlock this downward. Now once this is unlocked downward, you're free to start moving this in the sliding direction here. And once you start sliding it, you'll see the mechanism starts to collapse for the tilt. This thing's kind of crusty from all the grinding stuff going in the tracks. Now if you remember, there's two tilt positions. As you move this over here, you see that there's this little peg that appears over here. That's the first lock position for the lower tilt. And of course, as you continue moving this back here, it'll move into the higher tilt with this being its lock. Now you always want to have something deflecting the wind in front of the vehicle so you don't get turbulence when your sunroof is wide open. See if you can take apart a little bit more, you got a bunch of little screws here. Alright, so looking at the tilt mechanism here, you have your main pivot here. Not only does it allow it to tilt up, but it kind of moves back and tilts up at the same time. And of course, you've got the secondary arm here. Now that is controlled by this push rod here, which uses this cam profile here in order to control it. That has a pivot point over here, and that's ultimately going to control the angle of the tilt. And finally, at the back here, we have that lock mechanism. Now, as we saw earlier, the front part of the window slides down very easily by using this type of a guide here in this roller mechanism, and that's going to allow it to tilt down. Now, to tilt down the back part, which you actually have to do first, you've got this multi-link mechanism over here. So if you press on it over here, you'll see that it's fully expanded, which means that the glass would be flush with the roof of the car. Then this white piece here, which has the cable on it, is then going to activate and press backwards and you'll see that it's going to collapse this mechanism over here so it allows the glass to duck down underneath the roof of the car and then it can slide back completely. Now while you're closing it there's actually a little stopper over here so as this is being pushed over here the stopper is going to stop against the slider mechanism and as this continues here you'll see that it's going to work against that slider mechanism to push this up all the way and that's going to make it level with the roof of the car. Now by using such a slider mechanism you're guaranteeing that this thing has to be lowered before it gets pushed back into the roof so you don't have any accidents of it crashing. Now, as you can tell this thing is really greasy and that's great for lubrication. So I'm just going to come in with my wife's old pajamas here and just wipe things up because it is really really greasy. Now that you've seen the mechanical side of the sunroof let's take a look at the electronics. It's fairly straightforward. We've just got a switch, a motor, and there's a little circuit board inside of here because it's got to memorize the position of the tilt and window open and window close. Now the reason why you've got to do a relearn every time you reset your battery is because this motor needs to know how many turns is going to open the window completely or tilt it up completely. And these things are supposed to have jam protection which means that if anything gets caught it's supposed to stop the motor but I guess it's not working or this pliers is not tight enough a bunch of these tabs going all the way around. Here we've got the circuit board. So inside of here you can see we've got a small circuit board. This is going to read the resistance for the jam protection and it's also going to memorize the position of the sunroof when you reset the battery. There you go. So here we've got the circuit board. Now on the top here there's a relay and this here is probably the Hall FX tensor that helps to tell the position of the motor. Pop this open. So you've got your DC electric motor. There's this long shaft here which is likely a spiral gear but then we've got this large straight cut gear over here that has this plastic insert in the middle. Essentially this is kind of a torsional damper. You've got the center portion over here which correlates to the gear that drives the sunroof. And then you've got the outside here which is driven by the motor. And what that does is it provides a little bit of compliance especially if you've got a bit of a jam or something. So that way it doesn't skip or cut gears. I'm going to take off the motor housing here. You can see inside of there we've got some permanent magnet and here we've got the rotor. Pull this out. Now over here on the rotor you can see these are the contact points for the brushes because this is a brush DC motor. This is the worm gear that drives this dampener gear. I'm going to pull out the brushes here. Probably are replaceable and you can see these are the two terminals here that correspond to these two terminals from the circuit board. So here's a close look at that output gear. You can see as I'm flexing the plastic in this region over here 
That's what creating the dampening effect. Finally, we have the glass, which is the most important part. Sucks that this one's not tinted, but it's your typical automotive tempered safety glass. I really like how most sunroofs are literally bolt on, so if something does happen, it's very easy to replace. So technically speaking, this is a moonroof because it's a glass panel that slides into the body. A sunroof is a hard panel that slides outside the body. And that's pretty much all the components inside of your car's sunroof and how it works. So the next time you open your sunroof on a nice warm summer day for the sun to bask on your bald head make sure you think of all these components that go inside to make it work make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one let me know what you guys think about the quality of these indoor videos it's just another way for me to get by through the winter